All right. So we're in the underwater area now. I'm kind of I'm kind of stoked to be here. Uh, that was the way the screen shook. It almost looked like we had just farted cat catastrophically, cataclysmically. I don't know. I'm just gonna say words here. Ah, uh, this game is gorgeous. I should probably turn it down. Come to think of it, now that I'm finally doing this for stream, and I can't just have the volume down. So let's let's fix that, because otherwise this is going to be loud. So we'll just put it at like 25 percent. Admittedly, I think the more the important part about this game is not um, the important part about this game is not my commentary. The important part of ooh, it's a whale. The important part about everything is listening to uh, Austin Wintery. Oh, it's a it's a baby whale. You know, interesting point about whales, or at least the whales they've done here, they just scaled down the baby version. But, like, even then, like, whales and, like, elephants, a little bit less so for elephants, but mostly whales, really don't look that different when they're young. If you've ever noticed that. Did I f notice the first four chapters or seasons? No, actually, because this is the first time I've been to the fourth chapter. But I guess it makes sense, yeah. We just got done with, it was spring, summer, fall and winter. Oh, look at them. I like the humpbacks better than the baleens. I think the, I think that was baleen that we just went by, or blue whales? Blue whales. Yeah, the humpbacks look so much nicer. I think those are humpbacks, whatever, whatever those are. And we're dead. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, um, that's very pretty. This is very pretty. This is also the whale I don't give a shit about in comparison. Oh, we're looking at it. This is so loud, probably. I should probably pause and reduce the volume. Jeez. Oh, man, this is such a relaxy game. It killed the moment. I waited until most of the moment was over to fix the audio. It's interesting that we're going real deep here. Also, there's triangles already from the get-go. Which is interesting. So do we start seeing more? We do start seeing more of the weird gates. Oh, they're all busted. Or a landmine! They're mines. These are sea mines. Triangulary as Sima. I wonder what happens if. You know what? We're gonna go blow up. Well, that was a bad time. Looks like we're surprisingly okay about it, but still. Okay. Digging this. I kind of miss the the Austin wintery accompaniment His music is so good. I'm so so used to it being there in the game and now it's not and it's so weird I mean, it's totally thematically appropriate that it's not a it, it's not going but but still Also what dill hole put sea mines down here. There's also that little issue so we're looking we're looking for a couple of things here. Not for the sea mines. Luckily the sea mines are almost completely harmless apart from an issue. Okay. Looks like we got some kind of generator-y thing there. What are these things? Tomo Tomnot Tomoptris. Okay, I'm really sick of these things already. I was kinda hoping that they would be like minor in inconveniences oh alternatively we just messed him up all right i'll take it this is creepy yeah this is the first time i've streamed this game and i feel a little bit bad about it because uh i i couldn't stream it previous uh before today because of the embargo i hate embargoes they're stupid it kind of makes sense why there is one, but I still hate it. And let's see if I can find a, the 
meditation statue somewhere around here. I don't want to progress without it, just so. At least we've got the, uh, we've got the ne next fish point. Um, but I feel kind of bad about, I don't know, this is the one problem with being a combo YouTuber streamer. Um, and, you know, with the priority specifically on, on YouTube, is a lot of people kind of miss things. Especially if they only watch my streams. I always feel bad about that. But there's very little to next to nothing I can do about it, apart from feel bad. So we're looking for a shark thing sitting around here. Not seeing one, though. Oh. Shit, I didn't get this one. That triangle is angry. Goblin shark. Ugh. Please. Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. Goblin sharks are different from... What are they? Goblin fish? There's like a really ugly thing that I think is a goblin fish. To be fair, goblin sharks are not exactly my favorite either. It just ate a fish. Oh, hey, there's the uh, there's the shark statue we're looking for. I knew I was gonna find it somewhere around here. Turns out it was right at the beginning. I want swimming fins like that one. Man, I want swimming fins that just make it so I can swim, swim. Uh, I want this whole person's diving gear because we haven't needed to go for oxygen at all. So Humboldt squid, Tomoptris. Let's see, goblin sharks. There's a type of fish in here that I didn't really get a good view at, uh, get a good look at. Uh, anglerfish. <laughs> oh, they f swim so sassily. We've got Humboldt squids again. Where is it? Really? Were those just goblin sharks I saw going around? I guess it, I guess it was. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's see. Why does this game look like less fun than Journey? Uh, I mean, ultimately, I would agree that this game is less gameplay e than Journey for sure. Uh, it's 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 still got the exact same like um quality as Journey, the like nice exploration thing. But the actual movement and running around and stuff, uh, is definitely not as, not as interesting in this one. Okay, I came in there, didn't I? Unfortunately, it's only gotten darker. Maybe, maybe it hasn't gotten darker. Maybe I'm just away from the center, so everything's not up, not lit up as well. Um, but still. Now, Journey had that really nice sand surfing element to it. Which was really fun to play. And this game doesn't have that, which kind of sucks. How the deuce am I supposed to get in there? Do I go up and around? Let's see if there's an entrance over here. There might be. Where we can avoid the uh, landmines. But I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, there are tunnel current moments, but they're still not as good as sand surfing. Like, sand, sur sand surfing definitely wins out hard in comparison. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna guts it. I wonder what happens if I get shocked by two at once. Probably bad things, but it do also doesn't matter too much. Okay. Hey, where's the music? I didn't mute the music. There's no music for the zone. This is, like, super just... Creepy, dark, and dreary. And that's okay. Oh, and there goes Mr. Shark. It weirds me out a little bit that the shark is kind of labeled as, I'm going to say, a villain. It'd be interesting. And could actually make plenty of sense if... If it, uh, the shark's not even remotely close to being villainous here. See, I haven't found any of those conch shells, but... It's kind of one of those where I don't feel like, um looking either. Oh yeah, these were the fish I was trying to figure out what the hell they were. But it wouldn't let me find them. Oh well. Yeah, let's just go in. I don't know. It's kind of one of those where it would be really nice to actually get this over and done with by, the, uh, by tonight. Uh, shit's exploding. 
These things don't explode. Oh, hey, Nautiluses. Uh. Oh. Shark is having some issues. Maybe the shark's not the villain after all. Maybe the shark really just hates deep sea mines. That was not a villain at all, it's a happy shark. Pretty. This entire game is gorgeous. And there's our conch shell. Or not conch shell, nautilus shell. I don't know why I keep screwing that up. I guess it's just messing with my head. But yeah, we got a pet shark now. Or we pet shark now. We got the whales again. Now this is a different type of whale. Oh, we getting deep. I guess I'll follow him. See if I can ride him. Though it doesn't look like I got that capacity. I like it how the camera kind of forces me in... There's a giant squid down there. There's multiple gianty squids. I wonder what happens. Can I can I ride a giant squid? Let's go find out. We get eat eated. Hello, giant squid. I'm your friend now. Oh, it's looking at me. Okay, so I can't ride it, but yeah, that giant squid is currently looking at me. Funny. I think that's actually one of the first things I've, that has actually had like an animated eye. I'm gonna just keep. Oh, I see. We have to go activate the shrine, of course. And there's another Nautilus shell. Well, I guess I'm glad I started exploring. I I don't know if these actually have like a significance here. Oh come on. Oh right, I have to scan it. Which actually is a huge range. I'm trying to think of it. Okay, can I can I ride the whale? Can I ride the whale? I can ride the whale. Yes. Sperm whale. Doesn't look like I can actually tell the sperm whale to go faster, though. It does not care. Love the modeling on it, though. Like, it's so low poly, but it fits the game perfectly. Oh, it's leaving the uh, traversable area. Interesting. I think that's actually the f first fish that does that. But I guess it makes sense, because um, there's not enough room for them to turn around, so likely we'll just get another set coming through later. And we've got another... We got another one of these down here. I kind of don't want to trigger the thing. Not immediately. It's kind of nice just being around here. But we might as well meditate just get just to get the point. The flabby whale fish, the hatchet fish. Huh. More hatchet fish. Wait, that was a jellyfish and there's no going back on that one. Is there? Oh, well, whatever. Moon jellyfish. Oh, yeah, I've seen those before. Did you, uh, let's see, a black scabbard fish. Looks like an eel to me. Guess not. A human would be able to float around in the veins of a blue whale. That's terrifying. But also prob possibly false? Maybe some of them, like the jugular. I don't want to look at these fish anymore! <laughs> oh, here we go. That's a Humboldt squid again. I really wish there was like a, a, a list that you could cycle through. Because I want to look at, I want to look at some of these specifically, but it's, it's too random. Yep, giant squid. The eye freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. I, I think if I had to say, uh, my least favorite part about this game is navigating in this section. Because I want to look at some of these to know what the hell they are. And it's not really going to let me. I like how they have the whale calls, though. That's cool. Well, I guess that's enough with this. Apparently their hearts are the size of a minivan? I feel like I'm being fed misinformation here. Probably am, honestly. 
Ah bon. Because there's no music, I'm in this kind of like ultra, just like, I want to be quiet phase. But that's actually kind of the entirety of this game. Like, just playing this makes me want to be quiet. Combo that with a bit tongue and a sore throat. Oof. It is not the, uh, it is not Wanderbot Talkative Hour. At least my tongue's slowly recovering, but still. Biting your tongue when you're a Let's Player is not a, uh, it's not a pleasant experience, let me tell you. Because, I mean, I talk constantly. Okay. I really wish they'd changed this, like, mystical shrine thing. Like, um... Yep, giant squids. It's interesting. I, I thought this would, like, bring giant squids back to the environment. But, uh, nope, not the case. But, uh, yeah, I wish each one of these temples was at least mildly visually distinct. It's not a big deal that it's not, but it, it's kind of one of those where it would be appreciated. I'm taking a screenshot the hell out of this. I'm just going to take, like, five. I'll delete the one I don't want. Um, well, this is gorgeous. I think that's enough screenshots for one day. We already explored this place pretty heavily, though. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would light up the area on the outside, too. But looks like it's only the shrine. I love the blues and the pinks and the whatever's in here, though. Looks real nice. Also, I just realized there's a secondary door here. I've never noticed that before. Let's go check it out. Oh, that's a different kind of anglerfish. Huh. It's not so much a door as just one of our, like, generic-ass rooms. Oh! Never mind, this is something special. If I can if I can maneuver around it. So you know those uh, Nautilus shells I've been collecting? Um These are all of the uh these are all the Nautilus shells I've collected. So I'm missing one on the first level, one on the second, third, fourth. Yeah, so there's three per level. Six levels total, plus maybe a final one somewhere. And then if you get all of them, it opens up this door. Might actually have to go and do that. But that'll have to be probably with a guide, so don't spend forever looking. Uh, luckily, this game is really easy to speed run through. Through, Because if I don't actually sit around looking at fish, I mean, I could do it in seconds. Well, not seconds, but minutes. Um, kind of like Journey. Journey is not a long game. So, like, going through and getting the, the white Journey cloak was... Actually, surprisingly easy. All things considered. Uh, is it just me or is this door like freakier? Well, this is a pain in the ass. Getting through here. It's interesting, they implied that there would be danger in this game, but... It's not the shark, which is the most surprising thing, I think. I was expecting, I was totally expecting that the, uh... That the shark would be, like, the danger I'd have to worry about. But no, it's the freaky-ass Electro Landmines. Also, I kind of lost track of the shark, which I probably should have been paying more attention to. But whatever. 